All right, welcome back. We are staring at this beautiful rock face and we have no idea what it's called. We're back in Yosemite. Thought I'd film a couple videos while I'm here. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, listen for your favorite verse and comment it below. Proverbs 19. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. Desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. When a man's folly brings his way to ruin, his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth brings many new friends, but a poor man is deserted by his friend. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will not escape. Many seek the favor of a generous man, and everyone is a friend of a man who gives gifts. All a poor man's brothers hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursues them with words, but does not have them. Whoever gets sense loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will discover good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury, much less for a slave to rule over princes. Good sense makes one to slow anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. A king's wrath is like the growling of a lion, but his favor is like the dew on the grass. A foolish son is ruined to his father. A wife's quarreling is a continual dripping of rain. House and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Whoever keeps the commandment keeps his life. He who despises his way will die. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. Discipline your son, for there is hope. Do not set your heart on putting him to death. A man of great wrath will pay the penalty, for if you deliver him, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. What is desired in a man is steadfast love, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish, and he will not even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a scoffer, and the simple will learn prudence. Reprove a man of understanding, and he will gain knowledge. He who does violence to his father and chases away his mother is a son who brings shame and reproach. Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A worthless witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Condemnation is ready for scoffers, and beatings for the backs of fools. Proverbs 19. A common theme in this chapter is really looking at how it's better to be to be poor and have integrity than to have great riches with with foolishness. So we jump right into that with verse one. Better is a poor person who walks in integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. So it's better to have integrity and to sacrifice the riches and the wealth. Integrity is to be to be desired over that. So verse 6 is interesting, and I always used to think that this was a negative until um, someone said, no, 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 this is a positive. So listen to verse 6 and, and tell me what you think. Many seek the favor of a generous man, and everyone is friends to a man who gives gifts. And so you think, oh, well, we shouldn't chase after those who gives gifts, and we shouldn't be someone who gives gifts. But then someone told me, no, if you want to witness, you give, you be generous. Because everyone loves someone who's generous and everyone loves someone who gives gifts. Then it'll give an opening for you to witness to them and, and share the love of Christ. And I thought, wow, what an interesting uh, perspective on that verse. I'd never heard that before. I like the way uh, verse 11 is phrased in this version. Good sense makes one slow to anger. Such a, such a great way to put it, good sense. Verse 17 is another great one. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and the Lord and he, the Lord, will repay him for his deed. It may not always be a here on earth, but we are laying up treasures uh, in heaven if we are generous to the poor. Verse 21, there's a common theme in Proverbs as well. This has been said several times. 
uh, in, in several different ways. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but, the purpose of the, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. We can make our plans, we can do anything, but unless the Lord makes it happen, it's not going to happen. It's only through Him that our plans are accomplished. Verse 23, I feel like I keep, keep harping on these in every chapter, but the fear of the Lord leads to life. It's so important that we have a godly fear of the Lord and not, uh, and not forget that. It's so important to have that godly, holy awe of the Lord that keeps us on the straight and narrow path that leads to life. And then verse 27, once again, it sort of follows along that uh, multitude of counselors and, and listening to those who have gone before. Verse 27 says, Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. If we cease to follow that instruction of our leaders, of our mentors, then we will also stray from instruction and stray from the words of knowledge. So how important it is to listen to those around us, listen to the godly influences in our lives, and never shut those out or stray from them. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, being out here in Yosemite for a couple days. Don't forget to like, comment uh, what your favorite verse was below, and subscribe so that uh, you never miss another one of these. We only have a few more left in the month, so be sure you uh, subscribe so you don't miss them. So you don't miss them. Yeah, see you tomorrow, whatever. <laughs>